The basic idea of probability is that we have a number line that goes from 0 all the way up to the number 1. OK? And all probabilities occur between 0 and 1. 0 is considered to be impossible. OK? If something has a probability of 0, it can never happen. OK? And if it has a probability of 1, then it is certain to happen. OK? There is no doubt, and it will most definitely happen. OK? In the middle, OK, halfway between 0 and 1, well, is 0 0.5, or 1 half. And this is what we consider to be evens. So in the majority of cases, when we're thinking of flipping a coin, we think of that as an even chance, heads or tails. Now, in the real world, OK, nothing can be exactly fair and one half probability, OK? No coin is perfectly balanced to the atom, is not perfectly balanced to allow it to be perfectly evens. But in hypothetical situations, we can say that a coin would have a probability of a half of getting a heads and half of getting a tails. The probability of rolling a single die and getting the number 1 is 1 in 6. And so that is roughly there. OK? So this is the probability, and this is the notation that we can use, of rolling 1 on a die. So the probability of rolling 1 on a die, we can put a capital P in a bracket of the event, we can say is 1 in 6, 1 sixth. So probabilities can be given as decimal answers, or they can be given as fractions, or we could give them as percentages. This has a 32% chance of happening, for example. Or the probability of this happening is 0 0.32. Or the probability of this happening is 32 out of 100. OK? So in all of these cases, they are exactly saying exactly the same thing, but just in slightly different ways. OK? And so probability really stems back to this concept. All probabilities go between 0 and 1 and can be given as fractions, decimals or percentages.